Our first question for tonight is for, from Nujban. And the question says, is there any recommendation to recite the Quran at the time of a person dying? Can reciting help the dying person? Is it true that at the time of death, shaitan attacks with its level best? If so, can reciting Quran keep shaitan away from the dying person and ease him to be steadfast in Iman? Now, this question is an issue of dispute and it has a number of branches. So at the very end of the question, is it true that shaitan attacks the hardest when a person is about to die? There were stories narrated on such a topic. Among the most famous uh, is the one that Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on his soul, while on his dying bed, he used to faint and his son Abdullah was next to him and then wakes up and shouts, no, no, not yet, not yet and faints again. So he did this a couple of times and then his son, when he woke up and was conscious, asked him, oh father, what is it that is making you say not yet, not yet? So he said, my son, did you hear that? I saw Satan biting his hand and saying in regret, oh Ahmed, now I cannot lure you, I cannot deceive you, I cannot trick you because you're about to die. And I'm telling him, not yet, no, I'm not dead yet, I'm not saved yet. Once I die, you have no control over me, but now I'm still uh, 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 alive and I have to be aware of what you might be doing or attempting to do. So yes, this is true that Satan attacks a person uh, the hardest when he's about to die because this is the last chance. And we know that the Prophet ﷺ said, Verily deeds are by their conclusion in the sense that you, whatever you die upon, you will be resurrected upon. So if you die drinking wine, you will be resurrected drunkard. If you die in the form of uh, ihram and you are uh, in hajj saying labbaik Allahumma labbaik, you will be resurrected on this as well. Coming back to the first question, is it recommended to recite the Quran while a person is dying? This is an issue of dispute among scholars. The Ahnaf, the Shafi'is and the Malikis, let me uh, uh, rephrase that. The Hanafi, the Shafi'i and the Hanbali school of thought recommend reciting Surah Yasin. And the Maliki school of thought say that this is not permissible. So who do we choose? Is it the majority, the majority rules? Or is it according to the Quran and to the Sunnah? Definitely it's according to the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. The three schools of thought that said that reciting Surah Yasin is recommended, they based their allegation and verdict upon weak hadiths in the virtues of Surah Yasin and none of these hadiths is authentic. And hence, the way we deal with difference of opinion among scholars is that we follow whatever follows the Quran and the authentic Sunnah. And the, the opinion of Imam Malik is the strongest because he has uh, uh, um, the justification for not reciting the Quran. First, the hadiths are all weak. Secondly, it was never done by the Prophet and his companions and Allah Azza wa knows best. 